The Contradance by Beethoven is one of those very charming pieces which has a lovely kind of rhythmic bounce to it and it gives a huge number of technical boosts to any learner at this particular stage. It's in good old 2-4 time which is a nice easy one to feel for most people and it has a kind of very well balanced feel under the bow. So from the outset, you have this two semiquavers and a quaver, which gives a wonderful opportunity to teach bow distribution, that most excellent of virtues for all string players. So if I just demonstrate the opening of this at an under tempo kind of speed, you can see how well it would adapt to that particular learning process. <laughs> a case of short short long short short long and trying to make friends with the upper part of the bow is of course something that's very important for a string player at this developing stage but also something which on the whole people try to avoid with without necessarily realizing that that's what they're doing i think there's a couple of very interesting touches um, for instance using two strings as one <laughs> which although is not quite double stopping in the sense that you're not using fingers for it, it does give a wonderful resonance and um, a lovely independent feeling of being able to produce harmony yourself. Um, the middle part of this piece does have a couple of bear traps uh, where it goes into this section. <laughs> particular stretch across the string is extremely difficult to get bang in tune because the E flat being across the string is a bigger stretch than if it was on the same string. That said, it's a very good opportunity to get a pupil to understand that the stretch is not always a lateral thing. It's also got to be many different degrees of the entire spectrum. Uh, it has a wonderful moment of a beautiful G major scale. Which, if one is looking for reasons to say to pupils, this is why we do scales, here's a perfect example. There's a very short trio section in the middle. Suggested fingering at to, in the second version of the tune um, offers the possibility of going into fourth position on the D string. I think it's very nice for pupils that are well enabled to do that, but it has to be said, not every student at this level will find that necessarily easy. The great thing is you can still do it on an open string and get a good effect. I think it's a wonderful piece to create a dynamic world and because it has the da capo you you have the opportunity to make a real feast of color and dynamics towards the end uh, i think this is a piece which is likely to appeal to a lot of people uh, and i do love the fact that in the very opening phrase we have all those lovely arpeggio figures <laughs> makes a very good virtue out of necessity. Uh, I do put vibrato in uh, and I try to make that part of what my shaping is. But equally, I think for somebody who's not quite reached vibrato, it works perfectly fine without. As long as the piece has rhythmic vitality and some dynamic diversity, I think it's likely to be very successful. <laughs>